Yeah, that's it. Hola. <laughs> Buenos días. <laughs> Esta es día 17. Day 17. Woo! <laughs> We're on the home stretch. <laughs> we uh, m crossed our halfway point yesterday. Oh. The fatigue is starting to kind of uh, build a little, like accumulate. Yeah. It's like the long-term fatigue, not just the daily. We're adjusting well, like 30K is not... Doesn't feel quite as bad it's okay. as it once did in the beginning. But it's like the, it's like the accumulating fatigue is starting to build up and you, I get, we're getting, both getting tired, more tired at the end of the day, sleeping deeper some days, I don't know. Did you sleep good last night? We had a really good hotel last night. It was in, so nice. Such a wonderful host. And in Guadalajara. She and another lady made us dinner, basically. Here we are dinner. <clears throat> My usual, as usual. We're the only ones here again, as per usual. And we're watching TV because there's always a TV in the restaurant. That was a really great. nice... And she put out this big buffet spread for breakfast that was just for us. <laughs> yeah, nice hotel, new, modern, Very nice, but empty, clean, as usual. Empty. We were the only ones in the dining room. Yeah, that was a big town, too. They uh, opened the dining room up, turned the lights on. We heard the the lady go into the back and turn the, turn the microwave on. <laughs> <laughs> and we were listening as she was making our meal <laughs> to hear the microwave go on. <laughs> But it was good food. But the food was good. It was really good. She I mean, knew how to operate that thing, so it was yeah. okay. Very nice. <laughs> and now we have about 30K to San Pedro. And then tomorrow, Salamanca, which we're looking forward to. Yep. And then we leave this Camino soon and start on the next Camino. And we branch up north to the Camino Francis and then turn left, head west to Santiago from there. This is fascinating here. This is an ancient Roman cross dating from uh, 100 BC. Here's an awesome column here. This one's fairly well preserved. You can still see the, the, uh, the type. That's awesome. Wow. So cool. Sort of a fairly well oh, preserved or restored section of Roman road. You can see the curve here to allow water to run off. This area is sort of cordoned off and protected. And of course you've got your column in there, but there's also a little sign here showing, explaining a little bit about this area and how they built the road with a curve in it. Well, the, these columns indicate basically miles, but they've taken them and returned them to their original positions along the route. Yeah. Keep. Oh, don't get up. It's okay. Don't get up. That's okay. Sit down. We won't bother you.
<laughs> really? Were that threatening? Caused a stampede. Was it something I said? A pig peed. <laughs> Maybe they think we smell. <laughs> so we stopped moving and they all came back. So we are at the top of the mountain, 4,000 feet. This is our highest point on the Camino. We head down from here, all the way to Santiago. Tough one today. Look at our route. You can see. Oh, seems to go on forever. Oh, yo, yo. Wow. Yeah. Not a lot of hope out there, is there? <laughs> Do you have enough water left? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's very nice. It's beautiful. It's from. What is it? Robin Hood's Bay? Or that's where you end <laughs> okay. up? You start in, I think it's called St. B's, and you go to Robin Hood. So you okay. go from one ocean to another. Here, finally, we can see our town of San Pedro, our tiny little village of San Pedro. So this is interesting. Um, what's your name? Charlotte. Charlotte. I'm Greg. And Helen. So we met, we met Charlotte today on the on the Camino, and uh, we're sitting here having a beer in our San Pedro, and Charlotte remembered meeting us three years ago on our first Camino in Saint in Francis on after we got off the plane. It was a small world. It's bizarre, and here we are. Three years later, in the middle, literally the middle of Spain, <laughs> we bump into her <laughs> at the bar. It's crazy. True. 